These are stiff legs, so you just do like this, pick your legs up, right, there and back, go. Okay, for this one, one leg, so grab and try and hop on one leg, switch on the other side and hop back. Lightly like this, down the line, and then on the way back, same, light on the toes, and go. Great job. Now you can do the same thing going forward. So pick your line and just hop lightly back and forth, just like that. And on the way back, backwards, line, just like a right and go. Yeah, now you're gonna go forward and back on the line. So you find your line, just hop back and forth, right? And when I say go, you're gonna drop down and, and you wanna sprint just a couple of steps. So you know the idea is not to like run as fast as you can into the wall, right? It's just to get a few quick steps. Ready? Forward and back and go. Same thing on that side, find a line. Here, one in front, one behind, 
and you switch them. Right yeah. Same idea. Big switch, big switch. Same thing on that side. Yeah, back and forth. Big switch, big switch, big switch. Lightly, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, 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 and move. Ready? Same thing on this side. Backwards, same thing. Start small. Keep your palm up. Just lightly like this until they clap. And out for a minute. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And then throw it fast. Throw it fast. Fast. Right? Fast. Get some blood down there. Right? And then independently like King Kong. Independent. Quick though. Quick. Quick. Right? And circle them. And move it around a little bit while you're circling. Not crazy, man. Just move it a little, you know? Move it a little. Right? And then switch directions. So I'm going backwards. And I just kind of move it around a little bit like this. Then shake them and throw them down. Shake heels together, masubi dots to your head, up and down. All right? And then side to side. Right? Try to work out any little kinks. Ear to your shoulder. Okay. Chin to your shoulder. Same. Try to work out the kinks. And then half circles. Ear to ear. Only forward. Don't go backwards. Only forward. Separate your feet. Loosen those hips up a little bit. You can uh, separate your feet like this, right? I want you to put your hands up like this and stretch them, kind of like the beginning because of the night. And then you're going to make a circle, touch the floor, come back up, just make a big circle like that with your body. Circle, 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 right? And then try going the other way. Circle, circle, circle. Circle, circle. Good. Now look, go forward, touch the floor. All right. Separate your feet a little bit. Try crossing your arms and just hang there for a minute. And then come up, support yourself on your buttocks, right? Arch your back. Forward again. Backwards again. Shake it out a little bit. Now, always key up. Right? Start modestly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Now with some breath, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake them out a little bit. Nine. Again. This time hit twice. So you're gonna go one, boom, boom, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, 
I'll shoot them out a little bit. And this time, start with the other hand up first. Two. So you go one. Boom, boom. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Shoot them out a little bit. All right. Guard up. All right. Front kick out and back. Here's a little trick. Put your hands up in front. Lift the knee up high to the hand, right? Don't don't mm -hmm. drop your hand down like that to make it easier. Pick up your knee all the way up to your hand. And as soon as you touch, let the foot go. Ready? So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch legs. Same thing on this side, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Check it out a little bit. All right, okay, now watch. Feet together. All of them together like this, right? And repeat after me. Hey, soak it out. Hey, so Turn them out. Masubi Turn them out again. Hikurach. Turn them out again. Soto Hachiji Dach. Turn them again. Naifanshin Dach. That one's so important, they named three katas after. Shikurach. That's the big one, right? So, Shikurach. Naifanshin. Soto Hachiji. Hekradach, Masubidach, Hekradach. Now watch. Take a small step. Motorach. Take a little bit more step. Hans and Kutsudach. Take a little bit longer one. Bend the knee deep. That's Zen Kutsudach. Okay? Now bring your foot all the way back. Nikomashidach. Now put it behind Kosadach. Now take a step forward like Motorach, right? Turn your back foot straight and turn the front one in about 30 degrees. Grab the floor with your toes. Squeeze your lower body. Sansundach. Good job. Okay, feet together again. Again, so you go. Hey, Sokarach. Masubidach. Hey, Kradach. Sotahatijidach, Naifanshindach, Shikurach, Motorach, short front stance, Hansen Kutsadach, half front stance, Zen Kutsadach, long front stance, draw back, Nikoashidach, cat stance, behind the knee, that's Kozadach, stepping forward, into position here, squeezing it together. That's sanction dash. All right, good job. One more time. He sukrach, masubi dash, he kudash, sota hachiji dash, nai function dash, she Now, short front stance, motorach, right? Half front stance. That's Zen Kutsarach. I'm sorry, Han Zen Kutsarach. Long front stance, Zen Kutsarach. Draw back, Niko Ashidach. Kozarach. Stansenbach. And relax. Good. Now, basic hands rising. So we have Agi Uke. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then down block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sidearm block. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine, ten, forearm block across the body. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and knife hand block. One, ready hand at the solar plexus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, relax. Some simple basics, right? Rising, punch, and with the same hand, block and punch. So you're going to go block, punch, and then you're going to block. Three, boom, boom. Four, boom, boom. Five, one, two, six, seven, eight. You start with your punch. The punching hand blocks. One, two. Other side. One, two. Other side. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now side block. So you're gonna you're gonna start with your punch. You're gonna fire side and punch. Same hand blocks, and then you punch. Okay. So you start with the punching hand up. So we're gonna go one, boom, boom, two, three, eight, nine. 10, now forearm block. So you start with the punch, you're gonna block, hit, right? Punching hand blocks. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now knife hand, right? Punch. So you start with your punch, and your punching hand has to come back and block, and then punch. So it has to come back before block, punch. Block, punch. You got to bring it back. Execute and then punch. Okay, you start with your punching hand up. Ready? So you go one, boom, boom, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, relax. Couple of movements. We're gonna, today we're gonna we're gonna take and look at uh, hand yon down. Second half, close up and die. And you might see a little bit of uh, more. You're gonna do close up and show. Well, we could split it up. Anyway, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with yon down. Okay. Me personally, I learned the kata system after I was already a fighter. So for me personally, I like to know what I'm doing, and that like helps me understand the kata because I don't I don't like just do, making moves and like not not knowing what I'm doing, you know, or at least having an idea. So. My format, I like to show the bunkai, or at least one bunkai, because you could just make your own bunkai up. So I'm going to give you one idea, right, for, like, how I see it. And then when we run the kata, you know, you you, know, you got something to work with, okay? So Yondan. Yondan has some weird moves. The, the first weird move is this. You know, you, you bring your hands like that in this plane, right? And it looks the same as hand showdown to me. 
like Shodan is like this, Yondan is like that. Like to me, they look pretty pretty much the same. They're not, but you know, they look the same. So that, that's one move. Uh, there's another series, there's another series where you're stepping and you're gonna go low like this with your hands, like make an X. Uh, you you make a supported arm block and you come up like this. Okay, so the, the, the low thing. People, you know, is uh, at phone, we help you real quick. Is so the, back to the first one. Don't step. You know, this is supposed to be intermediate advanced. So I, I don't like doing this all the time, like showing Bunkai because nobody fights that way. So he he just he just punches me. And in that first one, I'm like, holy cow, the dude's punching me. I barely got my arms up like this to protect myself. And then I do an overhook. I do, I do an overhook on this one. And I'm going to slap him or karate chop him with this one. And I'm going to pull his head into my chest. And I'm going to make a little circle like this and just sort of corkscrew him down to the floor. Right? So that, you know, leads to grabbing him. The, the second one I mentioned is when he's kicking, right? People, people see that, you know, like, like X, X block or something like that, you know? My own, my experience is when, like that guy there probably goes about 185, 200 pounds. When he throws a front kick, I'm like 155, dripping wet. So when he, when that big green belt kicks me and I'm like, ah, all that happens is I get a big bruise on my arm the next day. That's all that happens. It hurts, you know? So I, I, I like this application. When he kicks, I scoop, I, I like to scoop their leg and then punch him with the other one. I like that, I, I like that one better. So, you know, whatever one you like, if you like, like I, I blocked him with my ex, knock yourself out. For me, I go one, two, and I throw it over the top. So when you go fast in the kata, you can't even tell. If I step out and I go boom like that, right? It's like you can't even tell if I did it at the same time or if I went one, two, like a little different speed, can't even tell. But in my mind, I'm going one, two when I do it. There's another move that looks like this. You're standing here and you're supposed to throw your arm out, kick, and then elbow like this with your with your hand open, you know? In the kata, you're supposed to throw the hand and kick same time. Boom, boom, and then throw the elbow. So I do it like this. When, when he hits me, again, I'm like, holy cow, this dude's hitting me. So I throw it up a little bit like this, and I kick him with my foot. And as I'm landing, I do an overhook, like wrestling, I do an overhook. Boom, and then I blast him with my elbow. And I don't reach for things. I hit what's in front of me. Boom. So, you know, if you're my height, bah, you're going to get like an elbow and a sternum, maybe in the, you know, maybe in his chin, maybe. You know what I mean? If you're like way bigger than me, I'm not going to reach up like this to try to elbow you. I'm going to go, boom, right in front of me, and it's probably going to hit you in the sternum. So, like, you, it's going to hit you like right there in the sternum. You follow what I'm saying? There's another move looks like this, up and in, and then you do a front kick, and then you do kozadach, it looks like a curtsy to me, you know, like little girls, you know, 30 years ago. And then the top hand is supposed to sort of slide down to a down block, and then you, and then you like punch or something like this with your, with your hand. I come up like this, you know, like, like a boxer, boom, like that. So. This one, he, he punches me, and I, I'm, no, don't, don't do that. He just, he punches, boom. I'm going to sort of try to capture him and hold on while I blast him with my foot like that. And, of course, he's going to be mad. So when he goes to hit me, I, I sort of cross step out of the way, parry or down block this one, whatever you want to call that, parry down block. And then I hit him, boom, like this, from the angle, right? So, so go back, so step and punch. So it looks like one, 
two, three. So it's supposed to go to the middle. One, two. All right, one more time. So he goes one, boom, boom, boom. So you kind of step away out of the way, boom, and then hit it. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's like the first task. So let's let's give it a shot. Okay. Is your first time doing it? Yes. Okay. So that helps, right? Yes. So you go, okay, so you start here, hand on down. All your hand patterns start pretty much the same way. You got to pivot this foot and draw back into a nice cat stance. Right? They're all, they all pretty much that way. So you start here like this, and your first thing is, boom, draw back to a nice cat stance. Nice cat stance. Right? They're all, they all pretty much that way. So you start here like this, and your first thing is, boom, draw back to a nice cat stance. Heels when I can. So I'm going to put my foot down. And I'm just going to rotate like that. Right? That's, that's how I do it. So you go back to your. First one, I pivot and draw. So I go one, boom. And then when I turn, I set my foot, turn on my heel, and I just, boom, bring the hand across. So I just bring it across like this. I don't do like this. I don't do like that. I just bring it, boom, straight across. All right, one more time. All right, so first, first moves. You go, hut one. You you make a transition, in and forward like that. All right. So I was here like this, right? I make a transition. I go. I bring my foot in. I, I go slow so you see. I bring my foot in. I bring my ready hands in, and then I take a big step. And here's that X block. So boom. And the right hand goes on top. When I do it, I go boom like that. Right? Yeah, uh, thumbs up. Now, you step forward in cat. Boom. And you do supported arm block. So they do it like this. I do it like this. When he, when he like hits me, boom, I throw like a hook. I cover with one. And I hit with the other. Same time. Boom. That's how I use it. Right? So it's boom. You know, I cover and I hit him at the same time. But it looks ugly. But that looks ugly. So I do it like this. When I run the cut. Okay. I should back to the top. So you go, yoy. First series. Hut one. Boom. Hut two. Boom. And then the transition, I come in, I take the step, one, and then I step into cat, and I do my supporter arm block, and then I come forward, and I bring my hands like this. This is going to be super common now. Have your ready hand here, and have the other hand across your body like that. It's, it's super common, man. All these older katas, they all got it. So you don't, you don't need, they're not connected, right? They're separate. Pull your right hand back and then put the other one here. They're, they're not connected. Just one, two, okay? And in this kata, the feet are all, whenever you bring your feet together, they're always going to be next to each other like that. So don't stand with your feet apart like this. Bring them all the way together, okay? So here, now, you're supposed to do this at the same moment. You're supposed to go boom like that at the same moment. But look at, look at your knee, man. If you just stand here like this and go boom really strong, look at my knee, man. It's like bending sideways. I'm, I'm old. I'm going to end up with a torn ACL or something. So... What I do, in order to throw a front kick, I, I like to get my foot turned so I can throw the kick, you know, and my knee is going the, the way it's meant to go. So if you just start going like this, ugh, all sloppy, I think it's bad. So what I do is I like to start here. Boom! I like to get the pivot and the hand first and then the kick, right? And as I get better at it, you could make the timing closer, right? 
So when I'm learning it, I go like this. I break it down. One, and then kick, elbow. Okay? And then when you get better at it, right, when you get better at the pivot, I go boom, boom. And it, it looks like, you know, it looks more like the same time. You're going to bring your right leg towards your left. So you're gonna, I'm going to bring my right foot towards my left, face the front, and I'm like this. Right? Because I threw the elbow, and then I just turned like this. This hand's already there. You don't got to do nothing with it. Right? So you don't have to be like, and like make moves. It's already here. Just pull your ready hand back. Right? So it looks like one, two, three. Just pull your ready hand back. Now, same thing on the other side. So hit your cap first. You know, get good at that. Then kick, elbow. Right? Now, this is another weird one. If you, if you did this right, you should be able to pivot your feet, boom, like that, on the balls of your feet, and you should be in a front stance facing this way. If you did your footwork sloppy, you're going to end up like, you're going to end up like in, in something weird like this, right? So you go one, two, and then you just pivot, boom, and you have a nice front stance. Mine, mine's a little, I'm old, mine's a little short. I go up and in. So here's that move. I'm going to catch his leg or catch his punch. I'm going to kick him. And then I'm going to step behind into Kozadach, right? That's a new, I think this is the first time you use Kozadach in a kata. So something to, a little point to mention, okay? When you go to a tournament, the Shotokan people, they do the same thing. But they bring their knees next to each other like this. If you're a shooter or player, you got to make sure you get your knee behind the calf. All right? So if you do like this a little bit lazy, they're going to take points off, you know, because you're not short of them. All right? So you got to go one, two. And a, a little trick is when you step forward, turn your forward foot out a little bit. Like that, just a little bit. So you can more easily bring your knee behind the calf muscle, right? It's hard to do if your foot's straight. You know, you end up looking weird. So you turn your foot just a little bit like that up to the side, and then it makes it really easy to bring your foot behind. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Your hands are like this at, at that moment. The top hand makes a down block, right? And then the other hand does an uppercut, just like that, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, one little thing is basics are important and they don't change, right? So like I'm here and then the, the coach is like, hey, do do this, right? And it's like, oh, you know, it's a different move. It's not a different move, man. It's just a down block. So it doesn't matter what your stance is. It doesn't matter, you know, down blocks are down block. So I'm like this. If I'm going to make a down block, I got to put my hand on my arm, throw it down. You know what I mean? If I'm going to, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm punching, I got my hand at the ready. I'm going to make a punch. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the same. It's very simple. Okay. All right. Let's try it one more time. That first tap. You want So first tap hand yanda. Hut one. Hut two. Hut three. Hut four. Hut five. Hut six. Hut seven, hut eight, hut nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yay! First half of the other. Great job. Okay, so I, I now. So I have Mr. Neil here. Remember. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send Thorin to work with Mr. Neil. 
he he just he got his green belt. He's he's got a no hand neon or I'm sorry hand yon down. So he's gonna go work that man. So when he walks out of here today, you know he remembers it. And we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna start working on uh, the the second part of Koso Kandai. So if you don't know the first part, sorry, we'll do it like once or twice, you know maybe, and then but the the focus is gonna be moving through the second half. Okay, all right, all right. So throw him, you take him. Okay, and then we got I got. I got Ms. Neal. So better, so he better, so better, so he better older, so he's not as nice. Okay. okay. So, uh, just just to jog your memory, let's walk through the first half of Hian of uh, Kosovo and I slow. Hey, we're trying to learn it right now, right? Just we're, 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 step one is get the pattern, right? Step two is like fix the timing, the basics, you know, fix those details, right? And then we're going to worry about getting fast and powerful a little later. You know, it's, if you don't have it, you, if you don't know the pattern and you don't have bad habits, you know, that are going to be, we're going to have to fix three weeks from now when we're trying to get it ready for the tournament. So I prefer to just go slow and easy, make sure we know what we're doing right, and then we could start to work on the on the, the details and the speed and the power a little bit later, right? We have time. We have time. All, all the tournaments got canceled. We have time. Okay, ready? Get you go. Right, this is close open down. So we're gonna go out and up, around, and we're gonna cut with our knife. We're going to go left knife hand, right knife hand, boom, and then we're going to pull to the section of basadai. So if you don't know basadai, sorry. And then you go one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do like a section of showdown. So you throw the sidearm block and the kick. You turn around and you throw a knife in once, twice, three times, and then you step long and you thrust. Just like hand yon, just like the hand shona, and more like sakia here. Ah! They they told me in Shitari you don't have to kia if you don't like to. So I don't I don't like yelling like that, right? But but when the kids go to compete, they, they got a kiai. So most the, the the coach for the kata, so they got a kiai where she sits. So kiai there. Ah, like that. And a little crazy helps. Ah! Okay, now from here. This is like hand yondan, the kata we just did. You take your back leg, you turn around, and you go up. Right? And then you do a kick. Right? And you stop. Now, this is like hand go down or, or hand show down. I'm going to do. In, in Shitoryu, I, I love Shitoryu, to be honest. I like it because it's so simple. <laughs> it's like if you're like this, looking that way, you're in front stance, right? Like long front stance. If you just look behind you, that's back stance, right? So if I'm looking forward, it's front stance. If I look behind me, it's back stance, right? I love it. So in, in this sequence, you go one, two, right? And then you're gonna you're gonna look behind you and do a down block like this. And the hand is like hand showdown. It goes down, right? And and then it, and then it comes to like a down block. Okay. So it goes like this. It goes one, two, three, and then you reach down and you pull to a down block. And then I'm going to bring my front leg backwards. Right? Back to this move. Now, just like Hian Yanda, I'm going to go one, two, Right, I'm gonna pull it in. I'm gonna do the other side. One, two, and then I'm gonna do like hand showdown again. 
four knife hands. One, two, and then two to the other corner. One, two, and then I'm going to repeat a section of hand yonder. Okay, so that was like, that was the first half. We worked on that like last couple of weeks. So that's going to be our, the end of that is going to be our starting point now. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I know it's confusing, but I'm going to turn around so you could see what we're doing, like facing the camera. And then I'm going to turn around and doing it, you know, like how we do the cut. Okay, so watch. We're here like this. This is, this is where we just stopped. We went one, two, three, four. That's where we are. Now, I'm going to step backwards in front stance, and I'm going to fire a right sidearm block and two punches, left, right. All right? So from here, you step back. Sidearm, double punch. Now, I'm going to draw back, and I'm going to lift up my knee, and as I do that, I'm going to sort of hit it with my palm, and then I'm going to hit my palm with my arm. So I'm going to go, ba ba, ba ba, ba ba, like that. And I'm going to use the hit, I'm going to use this forearm to propel me to the around, like 180 degrees. So I'm going to go sidearm, double punch, up, one, two, one down. See? It? All right, try it again. So you're like this, right? You're gonna go backwards. Sidearm, hit twice. I'm gonna draw one, two, down. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna use my fingers and sort of push myself up. And I'm gonna twist left, boom, and do a knife hand block. Right? So that that little section takes it takes a lot of energy, man. You gotta you gotta step back one, two, three, right? And then you're gonna go ba ba drop, and then you gotta push up, twist around, boom, and fire like a really fast knife hand block. So take a breath, man. When you get to here, when you get here, right? Take a little breath, because you're gonna need it. So you're gonna go one, boom, one, two, boom, boom. You're gonna turn, boom, drop, and then you're gonna push up, boom, nice. Hey, good, good. Okay, now watch. So there's one knife hand. Do another one, and this section is like hand go down. So I'm gonna turn to the left. And I'm going to throw a left sidearm block and a right reverse punch. Boom. I'm going to slide a little. I'm going to throw a left sidearm block and two punch, a left sidearm block. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. A right sidearm block and two punches. One, two. I'm, I'm going to repeat a section of hand showdown. So I'm going to turn to the rear, side block, kick, turn around and knife and block. All right? So if you know your hand, Katis, you know you should know that. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to go back to the halfway point, but I'm going to face that way, which is the actual way we should be facing, you know, for the kata. Ready? So we're here. Boom. That's my halfway mark. I'm going to go... Sidearm, double punch. I'm going to draw up and turn. I'm going to push up. Knife hand one. Knife hand two. I'm going to do a section of hand go down. Sidearm, reverse punch. I'm going to slide a little bit to the rear. I'm going to throw a sidearm block. And two punches. One, two. I'm going to repeat hand showdown. Side on arm, kick, knife in. 
I'm going to press down with my hand, step long, and thrust over the top. So it's light shodan, right? But shodan, you don't you don't do that. It's the same move basically. So like shodan, you just step ah right there, right? In this one, you block, them in like that, and then you step through and you hit and you hit, right? But it's low. You you know you come you come up like that, you know. In this one, it's basically the same thing. One, two, three. But when I do it, I'm going to go high by my head. I'm going to step backwards. I'm going to hit. Boom. I don't come up like Sanda. I hit straight in. One. And I'm, I'm in a shikurat, you know. Don't wreck your shikurats. Leave it there. Throw the elbow. Boom. But don't wreck your shikurats. Don't, don't do like this for the elbow, right? Stay in shikurats. So you go hit, back fist, elbow. Now, I'm going to go to my right. I'm going to raise the hand up above my head. In the dojo, we call this a bow and arrow. I, I don't know the Japanese word for it. You go up. Down. Here. From the side view, I'm, I'm like this. Right? So this one uh, you know, it happens a lot, man. At the end of Kosokandai, at this path that you do it, you know, the, it's kind of by your ear, right? Like that, you know? It happens a lot. So it goes X up above your head, straight, and back, just like Basada. Now, you're going to step to Shiko. And you're going to scoop this one low, scoop this one low, and this comes up like Basadai, like Basadai, and then cuts across, right? I, honestly, I, I see it done like a couple different ways, you know, this is the way they showed me, is I cut with one, I bring this up, and then boom, like that. It, it happens quick, you know? You step, you go boom, boom, like that, really fast. Right? You go one, two, and then you up, right? So when I'm coming up, I'm bringing my right leg in and shooting this up above my head. Right? There, not here. Boom, so now I'm like a little bit above my forehead. Now, I take my left foot and I step around like this until I'm facing the back. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to face you so you see. I start bringing my hands down, closing them, boom! Like I just whacked them with the shenai, you know? Wah! Like that. So my hands are crossed when they start. On the way down, they close up, boom, and they go like that. I, I, I'll, if I have time, I'll show you real quick. But most of us don't have time. Go on, come over. I'll show you really fast. I only got two minutes. He punches. I go, I catch him up, and then I'm grabbing him, boom, and I'm pulling him down like that. And in the next section of the kata, I'm going to kick him once. Punt, oops, sorry, sorry. Punt him, punt him the second time. So, go, so you, you turn around, pull it down, and as you're put right about there, right about there, you boom, you hit twice, kick him twice. One, two, hit him twice. Once in the stomach, bah, and then. Punt him right in the face. Now, you take your rear leg, you step to a big shikodach, and you take your right arm, and you do the move from Basanai. Right? So, in Basanai, I'd be facing you this way. I'd be like, one, two, and I'd come back like that, and then uh, that, that'd be the Basanai section. It's the same section, but the guy's that way. 
So you, you step over here. I'm looking this way. I scoop from here. Right? And then you can come up just a little bit. In in Basra, you, you come up like more, I think. Close up and die not so much. Okay. That's the end of it. Close it. And you're out. It's good. All right, thank you for joining us. Hey, um, let you know we're I'm transitioning from Instagram Live to YouTube. Um, I think there might be a little bit more success with our YouTube channel as far as uh, you, uh, the parents using it a little bit. I've heard a little bit more about people having a little bit of a harder time with the Instagram. Um, we're here. Our intermediate advanced classes are, are actually taken up. We had a few couple of younger kids come into the earlier classes. So we're opening. We're open practicing social distancing. So they're, they're a mat apart. There you go. They're a mat apart. They're a meter apart. We're trying to keep each other, stay away. We're not doing one-on-one, -on -one, uh, uh, like kumite, hand, you know, touching each other as much. Uh, masks are required if you're coming in. Obviously not when you train. And uh, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you later. Check out the YouTube channel. I posted some new videos on it for Bunkai, for all these katas that we were doing for the hands, actually. And uh, I'll be posting some for Basadai soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Instagram. I have to end it first. And bye, YouTube.